Bradley, a tow truck driver, abruptly loses his job one day to the economic crisis. And to add to his misery, he finds out that his wife, Lauren, has been having an affair. Bradley sends his wife into the house before releasing his anger by dismantling her car. As they talk, it is revealed that the two went through a miscarriage a few months ago. And while Bradley immersed himself in his work, Lauren was left alone to deal with the loss. Her longing for emotional support led her to cheat on him. Not a great excuse, Lauren, but whatever. After having a heart-to-heart, -heart, both decide to start over, as they still love each other. Eight months have passed, and Bradley is now working with his old friend, Gil, as a drug runner, delivery man of illegal items. The couple have drastically elevated their lives, and they now live in a huge house, own expensive cars, and Lauren is pregnant again. One fateful day at work, Gil introduces Bradley to their new customer named Eliezer. Bradley is instructed to go on the mission with Eliezer's men, Roman and Pedro. Although Bradley doesn't trust Roman, who seems to be high while on the job, he accepts the offer after Gil promises him a three-month vacation when his baby is born. The three go to the location to retrieve the packages from the bottom of the lake. Upon returning, Bradley senses something is wrong and throws his package into the water while advising the two to do the same. The fools, however, do not listen and get into a fight with Bradley before leaving with their part of the delivery package. Soon enough, they are confronted by the police and a shootout follows. Bradley gets the opportunity to flee the scene. But when he hears the officers screaming for help, he resorts to helping the police by posing as a civilian. He participates in the shootout and helps them catch Roman, while Pedro is shot dead during the commotion. Bradley is also arrested, and upon investigating, the police find out Bradley's involvement in the crime and sentence him to seven years in prison. One day in prison, Bradley is called to meet a man who claims to be his wife's obstetrician and wants to talk about her pregnancy-related complications. Bradley worriedly goes to meet the man, who turns out to be Eliezer's man. He reveals that they have kidnapped Lauren and shows him the proof. They have brought in a Korean abortionist who would do their disgusting job for them if Bradley didn't follow Eliezer's commands. Eliezer has lost millions over Bradley's betrayal, and to pay his debt, Bradley is required to kill a man named Christopher Bridge in cell block 99. Bradley remarks that he is far from Redleaf Prison, where this cell block is, but the man advises him to be creative before leaving. Bradley springs into action and starts a fight with one of the guards in hopes that he will be sent to Redleaf, a higher security detention center, as a punishment. Several guards arrive to take him away, and Bradley learns that he is only getting a minor punishment. So he starts attacking more guards and finally gets deported to Redleaf Prison. He is confined to a disgusting smell that smells of still remaining excreta from previous inmates. When he is released from the cell for a small break to breathe fresh air, he meets another prisoner and learns that cell block 99 is where the worst offenders are incarcerated. Watching a vicious gang of prisoners, Bradley wastes no time to provoke a fight with them in hopes of being deported to cell block 99. The brawl is interrupted by the guards and Bradley shows no mercy to them either. The warden finally puts a revolver to Bradley's head, forcing him to stop. Bradley's wish is accomplished as he is taken to the secret location of cell block 99. The guards guide him in as he has a rug on his head and take full advantage of the opportunity to get back at him as he is thrown down the stairs. Bradley is now shackled in chains and an electric belt is tied around his waist. The warden explains that Bradley has earned himself 25 electric shocks that can be initiated whenever the guards please to punish him. After he gets locked in his cell, he starts shouting for Christopher Bridge in hopes of finding the man in the cell near him. His fellow inmate reveals that there is no Christopher Bridge in cell block 99, which confuses Bradley. Bradley is called by the guards, and one of them amusingly shocks him, declaring that he is supposed to follow the orders and not even blink unless he is instructed to. 
Bradley then winks at the guard and gets an electric shock, which brings him in line. He escorts them to an elite cell where Eliezer and Roman are waiting for him with two more of their vicious minions. It turns out that there is no Christopher Bridge. Everything was planned by Eliezer to seek revenge against Bradley's betrayal. Not only did Eliezer lose so much money in that deal, but he ended up getting caught as well. To add to his motive, his sister also ended up widowed after Pedro was killed. Eliezer's wealth has given him the chance to corrupt the guards into letting him torture Bradley. The guard leaves Eliezer with the electric belt remote, reminding him not to kill Bradley today. Eliezer shows Bradley his wife's condition as she is kept hostage with the abortionist, who is just an order away from killing Bradley's family. The fear of losing his wife and kid forces Bradley to take all the beatings that the group entails on him until he is unconscious. Upon waking up, Bradley cleverly removes the sole of his shoe and adjusts it between the belt and his body so that the rubber will create a buffer in between. He is soon called out again by the same guards, but this time Bradley attacks them. He accidentally ends up killing the bad one while locking the other one inside a cell. He acquires the keys and frees himself from all the restraints. He continues towards Eliezer's cell and immediately gets into a fight with one of the minions. He kills the minion in a brutal manner, peeling the skin off his face with the help of the floor. This brutally disturbs the other minions, but they still get ready to fight. He demands that Eliezer free his wife. And when his demands aren't met, he continues brutally punishing the other two minions. Eliezer watches the commotion, and realizing his brutal fate, he calls his man and demands that he starts the procedure on Lauren to kill both of them. After Bradley finishes breaking Roman's jaw with his feet, he continues towards Eliezer, who threatens him not to hurt him if he wants to see his family alive. Despite Bradley's demand that Eliezer call his man, Eliezer doesn't listen, so he gets beaten up as well. Bradley takes his phone and calls his man while dragging Eliezer to serve the other prisoners. Now scared for his life, Eliezer agrees to comply with Bradley's demands. Bradley demands that they take Lauren to his friend Gil's house and have him call Bradley to confirm that she is safe. He then takes Eliezer to one of the cells with the other guard when the warden arrives outside the cell block with his team. Bradley makes a deal with the warden, remarking that he is waiting for a call. He swears to God that he will surrender once he gets the call, but if the warden tries to intervene, Bradley will kill both hostages. The warden accepts this and waits on the other side. Meanwhile, Lauren gets dropped off at Gill's place by Eliezer's man and the abortionist. Before the two can drive off, Gill shoots at them, killing Eliezer's man. Lauren then steps in to take the rifle and viciously executes the abortionist. Gil finally calls Bradley to confirm that Lauren has safely arrived at his house. He then hands the phone over to Lauren, who breathes a sigh of relief after hearing Bradley's voice. She confirms that everything is all right now and remarks on how crazy it all was. Bradley is glad that they are okay, and then Lauren asks if he wants to talk to his daughter. Bradley gets emotional at this as Lauren puts the phone against her belly. Bradley bids an emotional goodbye to his daughter, hoping that she will grow up healthy and smart. Lauren happily informs him that she felt the baby move inside her and then asks him when she should come to meet him. Bradley says he doesn't know when he will be allowed to meet her and lies that he is going to be all right. They bid each other goodbye while Lauren asks him to call her as soon as he gets the chance. Bradley then storms inside the cell and starts stomping his foot on Eliezer's head, while the other guard escapes the cell. The warden asks Bradley what he is doing, and Bradley casually explains that he is trying to separate Eliezer's head from his body. Just as the warden enters the cell with his guards, Bradley succeeds in his efforts, killing Eliezer. The warden stares at Bradley for a second, and the film ends as Bradley is shot point blank by the warden. So what do you think about Bradley's choices in this movie? And how about that ending? I didn't see that coming, did you? Let us know in the comments below. 
and be sure to subscribe to Movie Shortens so you get notified about when our next video is posted. Thanks for watching.